chicken pasanda, one of the mildest curries on the Indian menu. Fantastic in flavour, I use butter ghee, so I've got butter all the way through there with cream and yoghurt, almonds, chicken, and it's got a little bit of heat, not too much. You put a little bit of heat in there, you put a bit of chilli in, but only a little bit. You want a little bit of background spice with a garam masala, a bit of mixed powder. We're not going to overpower it with spices. Fantastic curry, creamy, yogurty, buttery. Hi everyone, welcome to the show. Today we're doing chicken pasanda. Let's show you how to do it right now. So we want to be toasting off some almond slices. We're going to put these over at the end, you know, just a bit of a garnish. But we need to toast them off. We don't want to put raw almonds on there. So toast them off, put them on a plate to cool, put them to one side and we'll make our paste. So dump in our yogurt, our cream, and our ground almonds. Get that in there, mix it all up, and then we're going in with our coconut powder. Mix it all up and shove it to one side, and we're gonna put this in after we've started cooking off our chicken in our spices. This is going to be our creamy sauce. Okay then, in a pan, we want some oil, we want some ghee. We want to warm it up, we want to go in with some cardamom and a bit of cinnamon. And we want to give it a whiz around. Whiz it around in the oil, get those aromatics into that oil. And then we want to be going in with our garlic ginger paste. Stir it all around, cook out the rawness of the garlic and the ginger. You know, you can, you can smell when it leaves the pan. And also, it stops sizzling. You know, the sizzling actually goes down when it's virtually cooked. And then we want to be going in with our whole load of spices, all listed in the description as usual. Stir it round. We need to be cooking out these spices in the oil. Bloom the spices in the oil. Get those aromatics out of the spices into the pan. And then we want to be going in with our onion paste. Stir our onion paste round in there. Cook it all in. Don't forget our spices are still cooking. Our onion paste is already cooked but warming up. This is our base. In with our chicken. Stir it all around. Coat up the chicken. Start to cook the chicken in there. We want to cook this chicken till it's about 85%. Somewhere around about there. And then we're going to finish it off with the cream. So get your chicken in. Get it cooked off. And we want to be going in with a little splash of water. Get the water in there. That's a little bit of gravy. But it's actually going to help the chicken cook. Nice and steady. Cook away. It's so easy actually. The smell out of the pan is amazing. Absolutely amazing. And then we gotta be going in with our paste. Get our sauce creamy, almondy, yogurty sauce paste in there, stir it all in. And start to cook it off in there. Don't forget the almonds in there are raw. You know, but it's not going to cook cook as such. It's just going to cook into a nice creamy sauce. Now we need to take this down a bit. So we're going to have to cook it off. We don't want the cinnamon stick in there. We can get rid of that. You can actually finish cooking and leave it in if you wanted. I'd rather just fish it out and then no one gets a, a big lump of cinnamon on the curry when we serve it up. Stir it all around, keep it cooking. It's so simple, it's a really, really easy. Easy curry to make and it is delicious.
Now this is getting to the stage where it is absolutely fine. You know, you can see the butter coming through there. This curry is cooked in so much as if you wanted to have a very saucy, creamy curry, now is the time when you ought to be thinking about stop. Add your coriander if you're going to add coriander, stir it through and serve it up. So stop at this stage but I'm going to take it further. I don't want a lot of sauce today, I want it a bit thicker. I'm going to cook it for about another couple of minutes. I'm going to chuck in my coriander, I'm going to cook the coriander through, let it thicken up a little bit and then it'll be ready to serve. This is a really delicious curry with a little bit of heat. Now this is what I'm looking at, just look at that. That is a lovely curry sauce. All we got to do is serve it up. I mean, come on, look, look at that. You know, it's got that hint of coconut in there. You can smell it coming through there. Obviously you've got the almonds, the cream, the yogurt, oh, the spices, and just enough heat to make it a really nice, pleasant curry. That is fantastic. Definitely want to make it home. Really delicious. And obviously, don't put as much chili in if you don't want any heat. Miss the heat out, and then you just have a mild, creamy chicken passanda. Mmm. That is a creamy chicken passanda made. Absolutely fantastic, you know. It's got that little bit of a sourness in there from the yogurt. Got that ground almonds in there to thicken it up. A little bit of cream. Tiny, tiny bit of spice. You alter it how you want. That is delicious. Mm. You got that hidden butter taste in there. That is Chicken Passanda made. If you like what we're doing, don't forget to smash that like and subscribe, share with your friends, all that kind of stuff. Catch you in the next video. Mm.